Hi, I'm Tim from Lanasa Farms. I want to take a moment to talk to you about elastrator tools and elastrator bands. And elastrators are used for a couple different things. Primarily, they're used for docking tails and for castrating small ruminants such as goats and lambs. The elastrator tools are not all created equally. Now, you can purchase these at any local farm store. Um, but I highly recommend that you spend a little bit more money to get a more stable tool and get one that has a few extra bells and whistles that not all come with. A few of these things that I would like to consider um, or like you to consider is a nice strong spring and joint mechanism. Everything should be threaded in and should be nice and strong and sturdy. The other thing I want you to take note of is the tips of the tool here. These are nice, long, strong, and rounded at the ends. Some of the cheaper tools you may find can actually have sharp edges down on the tips of these, and that can cause damage to the animal when you're performing the banding process. So, as the name implies, uh, this is a banding tool or an elastrator tool. These are the elastic bands. In order to apply an elastic band to the tool, you simply want to place it over top of these bars. You're going to have to stretch it out a little bit. And you're going to want to roll it down. You're going to have to roll it to get it to seat properly on the tool. Now when you roll it down, I want you to roll it all the way down to the bottom. Because as you can see, when I let go, it wants to spring back a little. So make sure you seat it all the way down. The reason we want to do that is because to open this up, we're going to squeeze the handle. When we squeeze this, if it's close up to the top, it's going to have a tendency to want to come flying off. And that's something that we want to make sure we don't do. Now, do not stretch out these bands. There's only one time that you're going to want to expand this. And that's when you're getting ready to put it on the animal. The more you stretch it out, the looser it gets, and that's not a good thing. We want these to be extra tight. The tighter, the better. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to inspect the band itself. Make sure the band is new, that it's supple and not dry rotted in any way. You don't want your band to go on and be dry rotted and break up, fall off after a short period of time. Now the purpose of this tool, again, is to dock the tail or to castrate the animal. In this example, we're going to talk about tail docking, but essentially castration works in the same manner. I'm going to use this black permanent marker as an example to show you, or to at least demonstrate, we're going to say that this is the tail of the lamb. It's quite simple. You would open up the tool, slide the tool over top of the animal's tail, and then let go. Now it's not going to be enough to let go because it's not going to release. Once you let go of the tool, you're actually going to have to take your fingers and roll the band off of the tool. Once it's rolled off, you can expand again and pull clear. The band itself will remain in place on the animal for a specific period of time, generally two to three weeks. After that period of time, that portion of the animal's body will become necrotic due to a lack of circulation, and it will simply fall off. You're definitely going to want to check on these bands every couple days, especially for the first week, to ensure that they are in place, that they haven't dry rotted or broken off. After a few weeks, they'll simply fall off, and the tail will fall off with them. If you were to be performing a castration, you would perform in the same manner, only instead of the tail, you would grab the testicles, pull them down through, and put the band over top of them. As we've discussed in other videos, I want you to ensure that anytime you are uh, using the elastrator on an animal, that you are giving them the tetanus antitoxin prior to performing this procedure. Tetanus antitoxin is going to help them to stay healthy and to ensure that the animal is not going to get tetanus.